just heard Peter say in Iowa, Ted Cruz is leading Donald Trump second in the Hawkeye state. He went after Cruz this weekend. Does natural born mean born to the land, meaning born on the land? In that case, he's not. But nobody knows what it means. And it hasn't been adjudicated. And it hasn't gone to the Supreme Court. And I'm only saying this, and I speak well of Ted. I'm only saying that Ted has to get this problem solved. Because if he's running against a Democrat and they bring a lawsuit, he's got a hell of a thing over his head. The substance of the issue I, is clear and straightforward. Three weeks ago, almost every Republican candidate was attacking Donald Trump. Today, almost every Republican candidate is attacking me. And, and that kind of suggests maybe something has changed in the race. My political power panel is with me now. Republican strategist Kaylee McEnany and Democratic strategist John Rowley. So, Kaylee, is Donald Trump on the rope? Senator Cruz saying something changed. Is the change that he is leading? That is the change. And look, I, I like Donald Trump. Um, I like him a lot. But this attack is nonsense. You know, you go back to 1790, the first Congress to find natural born citizen as being born to a U.S. citizen parent, no matter where that is. Ted Cruz fits that definition. The only reason that Ted Cruz is being attacked on this issue is because there is no other issue candidates can attack him on. He has a stellar conservative record. Marco Rubio tried to attack him on immigration. That failed. That was a false attack. There there's nowhere to, to attack Ted Cruz, so you have to go after this, which is a, a bogus, a bogus situation, if you so, ask me. John, President Obama would very much agree with Kaylee in the sense that it became such a distraction for him, and oddly enough, at the hand of Donald Trump, that he at some point did release his birth certificate after saying he wouldn't right. from Hawaii. How much of a distraction is this for the Cruz campaign, in your view? Huge issue. Fifty percent of the Republican primary electorate, a lot of which Trump has been appealing to, the birther caucus, thinks President Obama was not born in the United States. So uh, a Republican primary voter is going to have to really look themselves in the mirror hard if they believe that about the president when they and, and then dismiss a fact about uh, Cruz and I think Kaylee probably knows in her heart of hearts the end of this Republican primary is going to be a little bit like the end of a Quentin Tarantino movie I mean it's going to be a circular firing squad everybody's going to get gunned down or seriously wounded and whoever the Democratic nominee is is going to be standing and, and strong no before. no no that's not that's not true because Hillary Clinton's going to be untested the Republican nominee will emerge after being actually tested, Kaylee scrutinized. I want to bring in that point because right this second if you look it does seem as if Bernie Sanders actually has a bigger following than Hillary Clinton and people under 35 years old and if you look right now we're going to show you Clinton really only holding a very slim lead right this second over the Vermont senator. So, John, I'm going to come back to you. Is this a closer race for Hillary Clinton than we think? Well, if we're looking at numbers and not just listening to commentary, uh, the race for quite a while has been an 8 to 13 point race. So I think there's there's some coverage of it that makes it feel like it's a 30 or 40 point race. Also, there haven't been a lot of contrasts and attacks so far. I think both sides has realized that, that Bernie and Hillary are both pretty popular with primary voters, and, and some of those contrasts are going to come into sharper focus in the next couple weeks. Uh, Kaylee, what is your take on that? Do you still think that uh, Hillary Clinton basically has this nomination for the Democratic side? I do think she does. You know, she's proven herself impervious to scandal, whether it be uh, violating federal law and being investigated by the FBI when it comes to her emails, whether it's quid pro, quo, quid pro quo corruption at the Clinton Foundation. She's proven herself impervious to those things in a Democrat primary. But here's the thing. Hillary Clinton is a poor presidential candidate. She has all these scandals that Bernie Sanders can, can sweep under the rug, as he did during the first debate, say, let, saying, let's forget about those beep emails. Uh, he can sweep them under the rug. But I can tell you this. If Donald Trump or Ted Cruz is the nominee, those will not be swept under the rug, and she will be held accountable, and she will be proven to be the weak candidate that I think she is and the candidate that Barack Obama swooped in and beat as a no-name senator from Illinois. I, I want to ask you both, because it looks as if there is a possibility of yet another wild card. Michael Bloomberg, according to sources, former New York City mayor, has done say some polling exploratory research on whether or not he should jump in at this moment as i see it that would take votes from both sides kaylee what's your take 
I don't see him as a huge threat to the to the Republican nominee because here's the thing this is a a mayor who endorsed Barack Obama this is a mayor that was a Democrat before he was a Republican this is a mayor who uh, implemented Orwellian type restrictions on on how much we can drink and eat in the city of New York so anyone who's a conservative or even leans right is not going to look at Mayor Bloomberg as a viable candidate Although, Hillary Clinton well, sure. however it's a huge threat John what is your take because he is socially liberal fiscally conservative and that is a well, formula that can appeal to a large swath of people. Sure. And, and when you're the out party, you don't want to split up the anti-Obama or anti-Democratic vote. And I think a third party candidate getting in is going to split up the anti-vote. And so that's a huge factor when you've got the in party versus the out party. And uh, I think there's uh, there have been a number of polls over time, even back to the last election that showed uh, that about Bloomberg. All right. John Rowley, thank you so much. Kaylee McEnany, glad to have you both here.